Okay, so we're at the end of our conference and I just couldn't be more thrilled and pleased with everything that happened. Um, it was just fantastic. We're, we're lucky that this went off so smoothly given COVID. And to that, I really have to thank my staff. Um, Sandra A. Stars, who is a professor at Mason Law and who is also our director of copyright policy. You all saw her yesterday with Lizanne Cash. Um, she has just been, you know, the, the uh, orchestrator of much of our copyright work over the number of years. So Sandra deserves a big round of applause. We also have Professor Devlin Hartland, who if you were tracking our Twitter feed, and also you saw him, people, panelists in the green room, uh, he's the guy who keeps all of that going together, keeps all of our communications out there. Also a great expert in copyright law, teaching classes for us at Scalia Law. So thanks to Devlin. And virtual applause, everyone here. Uh, Joshua Kresh is our relatively new deputy director. He was more behind the scenes on this one, but he is actually keeping all the other parts of CPEP going right now while we are doing this particular conference. We have many other activities. So thanks to, to Joshua for all he's doing behind the scenes. And then, as we always say last, but certainly not least, is Christina Pietro and Mary Claire Durrell, who really were the ones who kept everything going on the ground. Many of you have, have just you know, met with them, talked with them. They kept everything going. So a big round of applause for Christina and Mary Claire. <laughs> and the crowd goes, goes wild. Um, this again is a follow-up conference from one I did in 2018 at University of Washington in Seattle. We hope to follow up on this one a little sooner. I really wanted to have these annually. Uh, next year, I'm thinking about the, the theme of it being rebuilding the music ecosystem. I think we can all know why I'm saying that. So hopefully we'll be at a place next year where we can think about that rebuilding. So anyone who wants to be participating in that conference, reach out to me. Uh, and we'll think about where it's going to be, when it's going to be, and particular topics and panels. And I finally like to thank the sponsors for which this really couldn't have come across because as I've said multiple times, even though we're virtual and online, and musicians know this as well, hey, it's online, it's free to distribute, right? You can just make music and send it out there. It's for, no, it's, it's not. There's still a ton of costs behind the scenes, time and money. And similarly for this conference, so I wanna thank once again, RAAA has been our premier sponsor for this. Uh, MSK can be a sponsor in the network event. It was in honor of Jay Rosenthal, just a great music attorney who passed away um, uh, recently, and we wanted to honor him through this conference as well. Copyright Alliance, a long sustaining donor of ours, and then many supporters who gave uh, their people coming in to speak with us and funds. And so that, of course, is ASCAP, DMA, Intellectual Institute for Intellectual Property and Social Justice, King and Ballow, NMPA, Ralph Jacketine Management, the Recording Academy, Sona, Sound Exchange, the Slants Foundation, Vertebrae Productions, Walla, of course, John, and Warner Music Group. Again, thanks to everyone. And that closes out our conference. And hopefully we'll see you all next year. Keep in touch, give us ideas, and let's keep working on the music ecosystem. Thanks again. Bye, everyone. Thanks.